Are Jesus and Satan equal? Find out today as we continue our verse-by-verse study in Ephesians. So I want to encourage you guys, if you haven't yet, subscribe, go through the Ephesians study. We're going just verse-by-verse through Ephesians. And we're finishing up chapter 1 here. We're cruising right along real fast. But here we are in Ephesians chapter 1, verse starting at verse 21. So we just, in our last study, we talked about God showed his power by raising Christ, raising Jesus from the dead. Now the question is, how far, how high did Jesus get raised? In other words, how important is he? Is he co-equal? To Satan, there's some that say that the two are brothers and they're in the same level and stuff. Let's check out what the actual Bible has to say so that we know what's going on. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 21. He was raised to heavenly places far above all principalities and power. So principalities, talking about spiritual forces, all spiritual forces, um, demons and angels. The whole angelic realm, he was raised far above. The power uh, could be talking about the power here on earth, the, the political powers and things like that. So far above all principalities and power and might and dominion. This is not having to do with the elect- election stuff, but he's far above everything. Far, not just a little bit, but far above. Christ, Jesus Christ, is far above everything everything. This is what's important here. Know that your Savior, he's not just a little bit above, he is far above. Far above any virus. Far above any troubles you're having. Far above any president you have or don't have or want to have. Far above everything. Far above your own sinful flesh. Far above Satan. He is far above. And every name that is in he- that is named not only in this age, but also in that which is to come. See, you can't find anything that Christ is not far above. Nothing. As far as the eye can see, as far as the mind can go, as far as the telescope can see, as far as the microscope can zoom into, he is far, far above it all. Verse 22, and he put all things, so God, he, God the Father, put all things under his, Jesus the Son, under his feet, and gave him to be head over all things to the church. So we have lots of pictures of how our relationship with Christ is. And here's another one of those pictures. Verse 23, so far above, let's see, gave him to be head over all things to the church. Verse 23, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. So the church is the body of Christ. It's like one regular body, the head controls it all. The the head controls and processes. You can't even have pain without your brain processing it. Your, Your heart won't even beat without your brain telling it to. Your all of your body parts function because your brain is in charge. It's large and in charge telling you what's going on. And that's what we find in our Ephesians study here is that Christ is large and in charge of his church, the bride, and he is the head and we are the body. We we all serve important parts. The the heart is important. The the gallbladder, whatever it does, it is important. And that's the thing with with Christ and his church, we all have and serve very important parts. Some of them are, are out there. The skin, it, it's, in, it's out there. People see it all the time. But there's other parts that are hidden that are still just as important. But the fullness of him who fills all in all. And that's my prayer and my hope that God, that Jesus would fill me all in all, that he would fill you, my friends, my family, he would fill us all with his spirit so full, overfilling, overflowing. Father, I do ask that you would touch each and every one of us listening to this video, that you would fill us 
beyond all measure with your spirit that we can be your true body and that you can be the head and that we would give you that authority that we would do exactly what you tell us to do when you tell us to do it that we would follow no matter what it looks like no matter if it makes sense or not to me the the liver but that i would obey you to the end lord please give me the strength to do that and my brothers and sisters here give us all the strength to follow you and please 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 fill us with your spirit in jesus name we pray amen i sure love you guys keep following we're in ephesians chapter 2 very very soon god bless